Since I took office seven years ago in the midst of crisis, I don't think I have ever been more optimistic about a year ahead than I am right now. I keep thinking about the road that we've traveled together these past seven years. Seven years ago, when Barack Obama took office, the country was at the height of a financial crisis where millions lost their homes and jobs. And abroad, the focus was on ending America's involvement in wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Today, things look different. The economy is starting to pick up. And gay marriage is now legal. The healthcare system has been reformed. And the president now faces new challenges. Back then, no one talked about Islamic State. And the decades old issues of race in America have only recently resurfaced. Despite those challenges, the president was upbeat in last year's address. The shadow of crisis has passed, and the state of the union is strong. But how strong? Critics point out that the gap between rich and poor has widened, and efforts to bring in a minimum wage have stalled. And the president's day one pledge to close Guantanamo Bay still hasn't materialised. One of his former advisers says his policies have made a huge impact, and that there's more to come. I don't think this president is going to go quietly into the night. Uh, I think this State of the Union is going to prove that. And I think if you look at where we are today compared to where we were a year ago, a year ago at this time, coming off of midterm elections, people said he was dead in the water, that there was nothing he could get done. But pushing change through has been a battle. The Democratic Party held both houses of Congress when he was elected. Now the Republicans do. Getting agreement in areas such as immigration and gun control has been tough. On guns, he recently used his presidential authority to bring in some changes, but critics say he's governed without compromise. The expectation when he came in was that he would be able to build that consensus, and what clearly has happened is that has not been the case, and in fact we find ourselves more divided perhaps than when he came in. In just over a year's time, there'll be someone else in office, so this speech and the months ahead are President Obama's last chance to shape his legacy. White House officials say this State of the Union won't be a to-do list and will focus on consolidating promises the President's already made. Regini Vaidyanathan, BBC News, Washington.